The world's first 14 loop roller coaster, The Smiler, out in the UK, has experienced numerous issues since it opened in May 2013. Yesterday, an empty cart was sent out onto the track and it stopped midway. Then a second cart, it was sent out full of people and it slammed into the first. There were 16 passengers and four were airlifted to hospital. My name is Michael McCredden, talking about a roller coaster called The Smiler, which doesn't exactly live up to its name, here for you on IO. First off, I want to hear from you guys in the comments down below. When you go on a roller coaster, do you opt to sit in the front, the middle, or the back? After hearing this story, you might not opt for the front. Two men aged 27 and 18 and two females aged 19 and 17 suffered serious leg injuries in the crash and were airlifted to major trauma centers. Only one of them has since been released. Another 12 occupants, six men and six women, they required medical treatment. Some of the riders were stuck on the ride for more than four hours as they hung at a 45 degree angle and it took a long time to cut them out safely. There's an investigation currently in the works but this is likely the cause of both human and mechanical error. Sensors exist to make sure that no two carts enter the same portion of the track at the same time, but they likely failed. The ride was built to have four carts on the track simultaneously. Then there's the human error part. There was definitely someone who pressed the button to allow this second cart to go out there while there was one still, you know, sitting in the middle of the track. They probably should have like, no, not gonna press it. I would really hate to be that guy or girl. Like the guilt, obviously, but then their boss is gonna be like, you're going back to the soda stand. Luckily, no one died, but one is thought to have lost their leg. Now, there are six other documented cases of the Smiler malfunctioning. It either got stuck or parts of debris were falling off the cart and the track. It's shocking that this thing is still in operation, but it did cost the park 18 million British pounds to put in place, so they probably want to get their money back. I feel like they're down a lot now with the lawsuits, though. My name is Michael McCrudden. Thanks for watching IO. Let me know in the comments down below where do you sit on a roller coaster? Also, other videos on this channel. Be sure to check them out and subscribe to IO. We keep you up to date on everything.